dog, spit it all, what's the call? Need a tan, never fall, pull up socks, pull up jaws, keep it tan, beat the eyes, hit my line, what you want, I pick up, yeah, yeah. Spring, 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 spring. Double cup, cup, my drink. Love my little baby, no leak. I be counting money, no sheep. I can tool it up in my seat. Show us how to change when the money came. Money bag, here I'm getting money bag. Need a money counter for the money, eh? No, I need you, so don't you run away. Mathematics act like a nerd. I be counting 30 by 30. All right, it's that time where we're going to install the wheel spacers. So, as you see there, we have a 12.5 in the front and a 10 millimeter for the rear. All right, so as you can see, these are the hub centric wheel spacers. This is definitely what you want to get. It's on a 10 millimeter as well in the back. So let me show you why that feature is important. All right, so as you can see, the wheel hub assembly has this lip right here, and this is where your wheel normally sits on. So when you put your spacer on, you want to ensure that there is another lip for your wheel to sit on. So that's why the hub centric is important. If it didn't have this, then you would literally have your wheel, I would say mostly floating because this is just a cap. So it would just be sitting there based on the lug nuts alone. So this makes sure that you have a centered wheel on top of your wheel spacer and on top of your wheel hub assembly. All right, we're gonna put our wheel spacer on there, line up the holes, make sure that they fit where they're supposed to fit. You should have five bolts if yours is like mine. And then you can put your wheel on. All right, we put that on there. Hopefully it is lined up with the holes and it is not. So there's actually a tool that comes in your kit with your car for the E63 AMG that allows you to line up your wheel. And that is this tool right here. You just screw this into your hole here and then you can put your spacer over that and then put your wheel over that and then this will hold it in place by screwing your lug bolts. All right, there you have it. As you can see, the alignment tool is right there and all you have to do is put in your lug nuts. And as you can see here, this is the extended one. If you look at this one here, it is the OEM. And you can see that it is the ball seat as I mentioned in previous video. This is also a ball CD. And here you can see the size difference in the original versus the aftermarket. So let's screw this in and finish up the front wheel. I like to start at the bottom and get everything flush. I don't take any power tools at first. We're just gonna put that on there enough so it doesn't fall off and we can remove the alignment tool here. And there you go. Next one, I'm gonna go to the top. So what you wanna do when you, anytime you're tightening, you wanna go in a star pattern. So up, down, over, here, and there. So you're basically making a star. Right now I'm just putting them in there to get it flush before lowering it. So it's not on there tight yet, but just making sure everything looks good. All right, so let's tighten it up and then we'll do our final torque on the ground. All right, so we're doing that star pattern that I mentioned. And this just assure that you have even tightness on all bolts. And we're tight. So we're gonna do the rear. When we drop everything down, then we'll torque it up. All right, so now we're gonna do the rear. It's the 10 millimeter and it's goes on like the front. Line it up, use our trusty tool again. And once again, we have this lip on a 10 millimeter and it brings it out. Not all wheel spaces in general have the hub centric. So you can really see the importance of it back here on the rear because if it didn't have it, then there wouldn't be much of a lip or if any for the rear tire to sit on. So we have a lip. So as I like to keep it full transparent on my channel, we have an issue with the wheel spacer. 
Like I mentioned in a previous uh, video, as well as this one, you wanna have hub-centric wheel spacers. Now, for the back, I did have the wheel-centric spacers, but they don't fit. What I mean by that, they're not flush against the wheel. So as you can see, you have this raised lip. What else you can see is that it tapers out a little bit more at the base of the lip. This is what's presenting the problem. On the website, it said that these will not fit OEM, but then it also said it will fit OEM. So I contacted ECS Tuning and they told me that this would fit, but unfortunately it does not fit. And I don't know if that's because I have AMG wheels or not, but if you have an ECC3 with AMG OEM wheels, you will not be able to run the ECS tuning 10 millimeter wheel spacer with the lip. So that's just FI. So unfortunately won't be able to see the rear with the spacers because I have to send these back and swap them out for the one without the lip or find one with the lip that will actually fit the OEM wheel. So I just wanted to uh, let you guys know so you don't run into the same issue. Now I have the part number of this in the description down below so you can see which one not to get if you have factory OEM. Now if you have aftermarket, this should work just fine. So let's just finish up the other side of the front and then I'll show you the front results. Don't think that would be safe. All right, so now we're gonna torque it down. I'm at 90 foot pounds of torque. Once again, using that star pattern. Go up through one more time. As you can see, it's still kind of loose. That's why we go through it a second time. And we do the star pattern so we can get even torque on it. All right. There we go. We're gonna do the same to the other side and then done. Surprise, surprise. My wheel spacers, the new ones for the rear, came in as I was editing this. So I'm gonna throw in a clip of how they look. That way you can see the front and the back with the wheel spacer. So like the other ones, these are 10 millimeters and they are hub centric, as you can see there. But the difference is this one doesn't have that tapered edge that the other one had that was causing it to not fit all the way on. So we're gonna throw these on there and it should work. So in the previous one, the spacer didn't fit over this here. So now we're going to make sure that it fits on there flush. And it does. So as you can see there, it is flush now on the wheel. Before there was a gap right in here, but now it's now it's good and flush. All right, so we're gonna put this on and I'll show you the results. All right, so we've successfully put the front wheel spaces on there. As I mentioned earlier, the rear did not work, but the front was the most important part to the look that I was trying to achieve because they were sitting in so far. So if you want to see more videos like this, check out these over here. Please hit that thumbs up button. Also, if you don't mind, check out Drive Talk Cars. The merch is live. And remember, do it until you can. Until next time, I'm out.